I'm Ben Cosgrove, I'm a Senior Project Coordinator at Armour RC, and this is the Craton 8S. The Craton 8S has easy access differentials, front, rear and centre. I'm going to show you how to remove the front differential, it's the same process on the back, so you take a three millimeter hex driver and start by removing the shocks. Once you've removed these, you simply remove them out and you can place them on top of the wheels gives you a nice open access for the differential case cover. Again, three millimeter hex driver. There are four screws to remove. And then the final screw is a four millimeter hex at the top. So now the gearbox cover can be removed very easily. The next stage, you need to make sure that your diff out drives are lined up the, the angle through here, so the diff will just remove very, very easily. When you have removed the differential, you will see that there is one shim which is placed on the gear side, which will make your gear mesh tighter. And you can tune this if you want to, to the other side to make it slightly looser. We recommend leaving the shim on the diff gear side for the slightly tighter mesh. To access your differential internals, there are four screws, which are 2.5 millimeter hex that need to be removed to open to access everything. The front and rear differentials have 100,000 CST oil as standard. This is the best balance that we found in our testing and we recommend that you stick with this oil. However, you can tune it to thinner or thicker oil depending on your driving surfaces. When rebuilding the differential, we recommend to fill the diff with seven grams of oil. This will allow your diff to be full and be consistent all the way through its life. When reinstalling your differential into the car, make sure that it is the correct direction. There is a lug inside the gearbox, so it is impossible to install it the wrong way around. Make sure that you put the drive shafts in at this point. line those up and it's very important to make sure that the shim is seated correctly inside like so then you take your gearbox cover slide it into position then it's a three millimeter hex screwdriver and do the four main screws. You want to make sure these are very tight. And then you take your four millimeter 
hex driver with a top screw. Let's locate this back in here. Like so. Then you can switch back to your three millimeter to get your shocks back into position. Let's get those lined up. And then you just place the screws back through the arms. Just need to make sure they're lined up. It's pretty tricky from this distance. There we go. And just put these two shock screws straight back in the arm. You have your differential reinstalled in the vehicle. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn more about the Kraton 8S, then check out the links in the description box below. See you next time. Arma RC. Designed fast, designed tough.